Hey, welcome back to another video, guys. In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down how one of our clients, Ryan, added $250,000 in three months to his video business and hired his first salesperson. You guys have told me you really like these breakdowns, so we're gonna be doing more of these, showing you behind the scenes how we've helped our clients achieve the results in the case studies that you've seen, so then you can see a behind the scenes look of what actually happened, what went into it, and how you can replicate the same success. Uh, if you don't know me, my name's Eric Deeren. I run Master Filmmaker, and to date, we've helped over 450 video business owners scale their business, grow their business, make money doing what they love, uh, and I'm super excited to help you in today's YouTube video. So let's go ahead and dive in. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Ryan, one of our clients. This dude's awesome. He has an amazing video production company. I'm super excited to break this down. But you can see here how we helped him add $250,000 in three months and hire his first team member. If you wanna watch the actual case study, I'm happy to link below uh, this video. You can watch it on YouTube, it's, it's here, it's on our website. You can go check that out. Um, and today though, we're gonna be breaking down more so what actually went into this, so let's dive in. So number one, what we did is Ryan was previously working with everyone. And this may sound familiar because most people do this, but he was working with everyone. So he's working with any business. Now, the issue with this is when you work with any business, the problem you run into is that you don't have any sort of specialty and you are what we call commoditized. Now, if you don't know what commoditized means, essentially what that means is that you are just like everyone else. And so there's a lot of video production companies that say, hey, we create video, we create high quality video, we really care about our clients, we do X, Y, and Z, and everyone starts to sound the same, which is the problem, and that's why everyone is stuck charging low amounts of money, right? And so to get him out of this, what we did is we said, okay, Ryan, what specific niche do you care most about? So let's look at all of his past clients. So I looked at all of his past clients and I said, out of those people, who did you love working with the most? And he said, well, I really loved working with manufacturing companies. I can't spell today, guys, sorry. Manufacturing companies. So he really loved working with manufacturing companies. So I said, okay, great. So let's put together some retainer-based offers for manufacturing companies. And so what we did is we put together three different packages. We did a three month, we did a six month, we did a 12 month. I said, okay, great, let's price these out. So what we did is we priced the three month at, I believe it was 56. We did six month at 94. And then we did the 12 month at 170. And what he would do essentially is he'd create a brand film. He would do their social content and he would do a lot of different explainer videos. All of this, and, and basically we would just replicate this in the six and 12, but we'd have more deliverables and it'd be a longer term here, right? So, um, so essentially what we did is we took that and then we positioned it as, hey, this is gonna be content that helps explain what your product does. So we positioned it, positioned it as like, hey, this content is gonna help your company explain what you do in a more efficient manner, which is gonna in turn help you make more money. And so we positioned it that way. And then now that we figured out, okay, who are we going after? What's the price point? Then what we're doing next is we have to set up a lead gen system because in every single business, there's lead gen, there's sales. Sorry guys, my handwriting is really bad today, so I apologize. <laughs> there's sales and there's fulfillment. And so most video business owners are fine. They're really good at fulfillment. So like that's not usually an issue where you need to focus most of your attention is sales and lead gen because oftentimes you're just not getting enough leads and you're not talking to enough people. And that was Ryan's issue. I think he was doing about 250 a year and so then once we trap this on, you can see he did 250 in three months. And so it really comes down to like, how can we get more leads? How can we increase sales? And so that was his biggest bottleneck at the moment. And so what we did is we built a lead gen system. And so we ran ads here, ads to an opt-in page, to a value video. You've seen this before if you watch any of my videos, to a call. And then a percentage of those calls turn into clients, right? And you can see he doesn't need a lot of clients to make that level of money, right? So like at these price points for these retainers, he doesn't need a lot of clients, which is the beautiful thing about this, right? And so like, it's a double whammy. So then we, we built this system and we essentially helped him test different ad variations, right? So different variations. We tested about five to 10 different variations with different hooks. And then we found the winners of that, right? We essentially scaled the winners, cut the losers, which is great. So now we have these, these ads that are generating leads, right? And then what we did is we optimized around those calls. So we figured out, okay, what was happening on the calls? And then we optimized the calls. So we, we improved the script and we improved how he's pitching. Because before what he was doing is he was just sending proposals off here and people wouldn't get back to him. So we eliminated that. We said, hey, let's stop with the pitch where you're sending the proposal. Let's just pitch directly on the call. And that increased his closing percentage drastically. And so because we're not pitching, we're not sending a proposal and then not being there to conquer their objections, we simply just had him pitch the proposal over the phone and that drastically increased his closing percentages and made him way more money that he could then reinvest back into ads, okay? And so those were his main bottlenecks that he had was lead gen and sales. And so we fixed the lead gen, we got leads coming in, uh, and then I believe he was booking about two to three calls a day at the moment. 
And so we fixed the lead gen. Now he has the sales process in place and he has a good closing rate. So now he's making money from the calls that he's getting. Those are turning into clients. And now his biggest bottleneck is again fulfillment because now he has so many clients that we need to help him hire more people. Uh, and he was also having a bottleneck around the actual sales. So now he was booking so many calls that he couldn't actually take these sales calls. So then what we did is we helped him hire a sales rep. And you can see with Ryan right here. So he hired his first sales rep, right? Uh, and he's up last year's revenue by 325%. Um, so that was before and after working with us, which is awesome. So we helped him hire that sales rep. And then after that sales rep, what actually ended up happening is uh, Ryan was on a shoot in Chicago, which is pretty cool. So he's on a shoot. He couldn't actually get to the phone. And so we hired the sales rep. We helped him train the sales rep. And then we helped turn that sales rep into somebody who could replicate what Ryan's doing every day. And so when we hire a sales rep, there's a couple things we did. So we hired the sales rep. We trained them using Ryan's closed calls, right? So we took Ryan's calls and we helped train that rep so then that person could actually replicate Ryan's uh, success here. And then we had that salesperson take calls from the inbound system. So we helped, uh, we had them take the calls from the inbound system and then that is now delegated and now Ryan can focus on scaling the business again. Right. So that's the that's the end all be all there. So that's essentially what we did, guys. That's 30,000 foot view of what we did to help Ryan actually grow his business, do 250K in the last three months, which is freaking awesome. Super, super proud of the guy. Um, if you want to watch that case study, there should be a link down below. Um, shameless plug, if you want our help actually setting these systems up so we can do this in your business and actually help you grow past that bottleneck that you're in, which is typically because you don't have enough leads and people to talk to every single day who want what you have to purchase. If you want help with that, there should be a link below to schedule a demo with our team. We're happy to chat through that see if we can help and then we'll go from there. So outside of that, keep being awesome guys and we'll see you in the next video.